everybody. It's 3 p.m. and it's time for dinner with Nanny Bubby. How are you? I'm Nanny Bubby. This is my home kitchen and I welcome you here today. I'm so excited. I'm getting ready to have a nice beautiful dinner party for our family on Sunday. We have a member of our family who has been here uh, for over two years uh, working with our daughter. She is an au pair from Colombia. And she came when my daughter had her second baby. As you know, my daughter is a judge, her husband is an attorney, and they needed help. For the first year of their first child's life, I stayed home and took care of that baby, their first baby. When the second one came, I was very busy with all of you. So they needed some help, and they brought a lovely girl here named Margaret from Columbia, and her visa is up. This was a two-year stay. We love her. We did everything we could to see if we could extend the visa, but we could not. And so she is headed back home to Columbia to her family um, on, um, on Tuesday. And so we're having a beautiful dinner party to welcome everybody and to say goodbye to her. Um, and um, so we're sad, but we're just so happy that she was here with us for two years. So I'm making dinner for everybody. I've got a whole menu plan, but what I'm making for you today is a recipe called cacio e pepe, which means cheese and pepper. And they're cheese and pepper cheese balls, which is an appetizer that I think will actually be great for both the kids and for um, the adults. So I'm really conscious these days of making sure Let's get to the comments here. Hey Frank, how are you? Of making sure that when I always have something extra spe special made for the grandkids. And as you know, on Tuesday, I think it was, I made spaghetti pasta cupcakes with mozzarella cheese and Parmesan. And so today we're making this cacio e pepe. So let's see who else is here. Can't see yet, but it's loading. There we go, Frank, Susan Mendorf. So as you can see right here, you can see that I have started to scald. Some, one cup of milk is how this starts. We're gonna put in um, a half cup of butter, quarter of a cup of butter, quarter pound of butter actually. And we're gonna let this melt. While it's melting here, I'm going to add one cup, or one little teaspoon rather, of butter, oh my God, I'm so sorry. One teaspoon of salt, just to bring out those flavors as that is melting. And then I'm gonna do something that you rarely see me do. So I always use already freshly ground pepper that I put together um, and I grind in a coffee grinder as you know. But the point of this recipe is that it needs to be coarsely ground pepper. So I'm actually going to do something that you don't often see me do, which is use a coffee grinder. So here we go. This is, as you can see in there, see that really, really thick, let me take the spoon out here and the wooden spoon and just put in, you can see it getting nice and dark in there. Hey, Rocky Nash, how are you? You love butter, I love butter too. That's why we spread love like butter here. So we're just gonna stir that around just a little bit. And as we're waiting for it to melt down just a little bit, just afterwards, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a cup of butter. Well, I'm getting my cameras right, but I'm not getting my words right today because I'm focused on the cameras. We are going to get a, um, we are going to add a cup of all-purpose flour in order to thicken this up, which I think we're just about ready to do. So this is the cup of flour, and let me show you what I'm gonna do with that. We're gonna take that and just lightly just pop that in, and we're gonna beat it with this wooden spoon, as you can see. Let me turn that off to the side. Get it nice and thick. There we go. And turn off the fire on that. Whoop. And we're gonna just see how we're just whipping that and blending it in. It's gonna make like a very nice thick dough. The heat of the pan is gonna get, now this is very thick as you can see. The heat of that pan is gonna get that raw flour taste just out of the pan. So there we go. Okay, and now we are going to take this this is so simple, as you can see. 
we're going to take this and we are going to drop it right over here into the food processor. So you can see the food processor here and in it goes. That's it. There we go. It all out. Looks very beautiful, doesn't it? And what we're going to do is let me put this pan where it belongs. Okay. We are going to put in this four eggs that I have lightly beaten right here. So, you know, the thing that you could do is you could basically just take four eggs, put them in here and put them in the bowl, but always never crack your egg into the bowl because sometimes you could get a bad egg. And if you do, you're gonna have to throw out all your batter and start all over again. So no matter how many eggs you're using, I did put them all four in here, but I would have, worst case, I would have thrown out three eggs if the fourth one was a bad egg, which I don't think would have been all that bad. But you do not want to crack right into the bowl because you would have had to throw out all of this and start all over. So just word to the caution. So here we go. We're going to put in our four eggs. Here we go. And I'm putting in a half a cup, of course, of my very, very favorite Parmesan cheese. And actually, this is the Pecorino Romano. <laughs> you guys can love me and forgive me here because I'm just got, got my words messed up because I'm concentrating on cameras. But hey, this is only my third day or my second day actually doing this show alone with all these cameras. So I know you can give me some grace. This is the Parmesan. That was the Pecorino Romano. So now I'm going to, this has got a metal blade in it. I'm going to take this top, pop it right on. There we go. And do you think it might have been a good idea if what I had done is plugged it in so you'll bear with me while I do that? <laughs> I had everything set but the instrument, the appliance plugged in. So, okay, back to that. There we go. Let's get this turned on. And we're going to pulse it just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So, I need to remove because of surface space. I don't have a lot of surface space because you're going to be very surprised at exactly what the next thing is. So let's see who's here. Susan Mendorf is here. Rocky's here. She loves butter. Chris Wissinger is here. My southern mother-in-law loves butter and I love her, so I love butter too. So then you love me and I love you and we all live happily ever after, right? Says, uh, says I'm doing great. Thank you. Levant is here. Thank you so much. So we, everybody is tuning in and starting to find us here. So, okay, this is going away. And now the big reveal and the big surprise. This is a pastry bag. If you can see this, Fanyo Romeo is here. We welcome you. I wonder um, who they are. They found us. How nice is that? Okay, so if you can see this, this is a pastry bag. You can see down into the bag here. You see that? Oh, there we go. All the way down in there. And what we are going to do with this is we are going to fill this with this filling that we made right here. And you can see just how beautiful this is. Look at this. Let me take this off and look inside. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? It's rich. It's buttery. It's eggy and it's got cheese and pepper in it. So now we're going to take this and we're going to fill this in a bag. So let me get you a better spoon to do that with. So again, I'm having family for dinner on Sunday and this is an appetizer that I can make ahead, as you can see. It's called Cacio e Pepe and there's many ways that Italians use Cacio e Pepe. Caccio stands for cheese, pepe is pepper, and um, you can be made in pasta. It can be made, in my case, as cheese balls for an appetizer, so that's what I'm intending to do. So let me take this and fill this just a little bit more. It's very, very sticky, so the way that we're going to deal with that right here is we are going to... 
push this down. We're going to squeeze it down and we'll start out by squeezing it right back into the bowl. That gives us room right here to add more, such as this. Let's see if I put this in here right now, if you'll be able to see what it looks like. So we fold the bag over, as you can see, and which is really a technique because if you don't fold that bowl, over, uh, the bag over, what ends up happening is you get all of this sticky mess whether it's frosting or cacio e pepe, right um, all over the outside of the bag and it makes it really messy to work with. So can you see that? We're just gonna fold this bag right back up like that. And there we go. Okay, so let me set this aside now. There we go. And what we're gonna do is grab so we're going to take a, a half sheet pan and let me set this, let me see if I can set this where you can actually watch me doing this. So let's see here. Let me set this up for you because I really want to give you the very best view possible. So let's see how that looks. There we go. Okay, so this is a half sheet pan with um, parchment on it and we're going to start right over here so you can see. And we're going to just squeeze down. There we go. And just make a cheese ball. There we go. And another one. There we go. Can you guys see that? There we go. Okay. Now let's just roll this like this and now this called for a round tip, Whoop. and but my round tip has got swirls in it. So can you see this? There we go. Aren't we loving life now? There we go. Now you will notice that the cheese balls have a little swirl on the top, but I have a surprise for you as to how that works, what we're gonna do with that. Now we're going to go round and round and round and up we go. There we go. Okay. Maria Elba's here. Hey there. And there we go. And around. And now what we're going to do is come back and we are going to refill the bag. So over here, just want to keep the more that's in there. Again, we roll it over so that we can keep the outside clean because as you're putting it into the bag, it gets very dirty. The bag does anyway, so. Uh-uh, not happening here. Let me pull this out. So it's a bit sticky on the inside. It's, it's happening, although very stickily, and it is very, very sticky, but nonetheless, very delicious. And these will keep in the refrigerator until Sunday when I take them out and bake them at about 375 for about 20 minutes. You'll find that the pecorino and the butter and the um, uh, Parmesan will all melt inside the bag and we will have just an absolutely beautiful appetizer that we can just dip into maybe some pasta sauce or just eat them as they are. So let's come back to this camera one more time and get you that close up view. As you can see, I'm going round and round and then up through the middle and round and round and up through the middle. And one more time, let me get this over here. Can you see that? There we go. Okay and round and round and up, round and round and up. And I have two sheet pans. So as soon as this one is filled, which I feel, well, I think we can get one more row in here. So have any of you ever made this before? Let me see. Maria L, Brocky Nash, Inyat, Frank, Susan Mendorf. Have you guys ever made these cacio? In fact, um, 
Frank, you do so much Italian cooking. Tell me about the cacio e pepe. Um, are you familiar with it? Do you know anything about it? What's your take on cacio e pepe? So now I am going to move this, if you will, and we're going to come back to this, this other camera. Here we go. Okay. Stand by, everybody. Here we go. Okay. I love getting you the very best view that I can. So let's see how this looks. How is this view right here? Are you able to see that? Not so good. Let me move this just a little bit. Move these out of the way. Okay. Maybe that's not quite as good as the other ones. So tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to grab this pan and just switch places so that we can get back to that view for you. Now there's a trick to this. Cheese balls should be rounded, as you know. And um, let's see, you make spaghetti cacio e pepe, which I believe is in my book. Well, that is awesome. You believe it's in your book, Frankie, or you know it's in your book? I think you know it's in your book, right? Okay, so let's see if we can get most of this out of here. I'm using my elbow, as you can see, to sturdy the, the food processor bowl. Let's see how much we can get in here. Um, boy, Friday is a day when we get a lot of new people that we've never heard of, isn't it? But we're happy to have you. We've got somebody watching from Israel. Love that. Okay. And just pulling this out, getting this in there. Okay. And if you're ready, we're going to take this again. Let me just wipe these fingers of mine. And we're going to go back, and you're going to watch me one more time. Just line this up. And as we do that, just pay attention here to how this makes. Okay. Now you can see these points. Let's see, Frank says he believes it's in its book because not all the recipes I wanted in the book made it. Uh, well, next time. That leaves room for a second book, right, Frank? And we have to have you on the show here very soon um, so that we can do the recipes from your book. In fact, I'm planning on looking at a few of those for next week's show, Frank. So I'm going to pay attention to that. Okay, there we go, and squeezing one more time, and squeezing again, okay, get this off. So I'm really looking forward to this dinner party to say goodbye to everybody, or to say goodbye to her anyway. So what I'm going to do is lightly... I have taken my finger, I put just a little bit of water on that on my middle finger, and I'm just going to push that point in, push that point in, because nobody wants a pointed cheese ball, right? So we're just taking that little point, putting that in. If your finger starts to stick, just wet it again. Wet, wet the finger just a little bit, press it down, press it down, and that's how you get rid of those points on the cheese ball. So here we go. Let's do a little bit more. Another one here. Here we go. And these are going to be absolutely delicious. And I bet you the children will eat them too. So, and I actually like that these cheese balls are in a different star filter than normal. So they're not quite smooth. Let me get my hand down in there. There we go. There we go. Teresa Anderson is watching. Hey, Teresa, so happy that you're here. I'm so happy that, that you made it. We are, this is our tight shot as I'm making cacio e pepe cheese balls. There we go. And I'm going to do one more. And then again, I'm going to show you via, okay, there we are. 
So what I want to do is show you that if you look at these, you can see, and I'm going to hold this right under the camera, that they have just these little points on them. And so what you want to do is we're going to take just a small little cup of water or just the measuring cup here. Let me just put a little water in that measuring cup. There we go. Take just a small little cup of water so that we can take our middle finger and just get into the water. And what we'll do is just, as you can see that little point, if I turn that to the side, can you see that just a little bit? And we're just gonna press that point in. There we go. It's because you want your cheese balls to be round, right? A little point there, a little point there, a little point there. There you go. One more. And this tray is now done. So we're going to take this tray right here and um, we're going to move it off to the side and here we go. And back to the camera so you can see, see all the points. There we go. Pressing them in. Now we're going to cover this. Look at this point. Can you see that? Nice and tall. Let me turn that there so that you can really see how pointed that is. And a little bit of water and the point just goes in and it's round. There we go. And that's as easy as that is. Just get those points right off. And we've got beautiful round cacio e pepe cheese balls. Okay, let's see who else is there. Teresa and so many others. Well, there we go, everybody. How did you like that? That's it. That's as easy it is, as it is. We're going to cover these with a little bit of parchment. Not a little bit, just very lightly over the top. And then some foil so that the foil doesn't uh, stick. And we will put these in the oven at 375 degrees on Sunday for about 20 minutes. They'll get nice and bubbly and brown. I'll be able to take them out, cool them, and not only will the adults have them, but I have a funny feeling this will be something that the kids will have as well. I'm going to finish it all up and I will, if I have time, I always say I'll take pictures on Sunday, but the truth is when I'm present with my family, I'm actually not thinking of you. I think of you when I'm here with you and two hours before I get to you because I'm always curious about what I am doing and I start thinking of all of you. But when it comes to being with my family, I'm 100% all in with them. But I will try to take a picture and share it with you. Frank says, I've been so busy. I haven't had five minutes to even open and read my own book. Well, listen, Frank. Stand by because Nanny Bubby really is going to want to go through it um, over the weekend. Well, I won't, really won't have time over the weekend, but in the next week, sometime in the next week, I'll have a chance to get, go through it and really uh, spot something that maybe I'd like to make here. And then we'll set up an interview, Frank, and hopefully we can talk through if there's somewhere you can go and I can cook with you. That would be really fabulous. So that's it for today, everybody. Cacio e Pepe cheese balls. Actually, it's an Ina Garden recipe, and you can find it at the Food Network Kitchen app or on foodnetwork.com. And um, thanks for being here, everybody. Love it when you are. Hi there, Maria. And um, to all of you who join every day, I wish you a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to blow you a kiss. And I'm going to ask you to spread love like butter. And when I do that, stand by for a fabulous close to the show. So on the count of three, say it with me, everybody. One, two, three. Go out and spread love like butter. Here we go. Get back to it. Only mistake of the day.